Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Wednesday the 17th of February 2021 and we're looking at the debate between gold and Bitcoin as a currency inflation hedge and why is Bitcoin constantly hitting record highs while gold is moving lower. So let's take a look. Now yesterday evening we produced a video entitled Gold and Silver 4 Below First Key Support Level where we pointed out that at some stage gold fell below $1800 and silver below $27 which is where we call a first stage important support level. Silver did recover though and when we produced the video which as mentioned was late last night Gold stood at $1,794 and silver at $27.24. So still down but had recovered a little. Now the time of producing this video is 13.06 GMT. And we can see that gold dipped further this morning to 17.84. But it's currently 17.90. And silver dipped to $26.98. Again below that $27 level but bounced back and is now 27.18. So both down on our video yesterday but very marginally. Now we admit these are small moves and in the overall scheme of things of little consequence. But then when we look at Bitcoin for example it has again today reached another all-time high and stands at $51,414 at this precise moment even though the dollar index has strengthened a little. So this leads us to the question, is Bitcoin being replaced as the gold substitute for those worried about inflation and or currency devaluation? Well, there are two articles we wish to look at concerning this very subject. The first, published by Forbes on the 8th of February, asking, will crypto replace gold as an inflation hedge? The second is written by Adrian Ash of Bullion Vault, published yesterday, under the heading Money and Bitcoin Compared. Now, as each article is quite long, we've split these two up and spread them over two videos. Otherwise, it will make the broadcast too laborious. It's worth watching both, though, and we're publishing both versions today, the second one later this evening. So what we shall do now is go straight for forward to the Forbes article and then end this broadcast at the conclusion of that article. So please do share your thoughts on the matter and we will conclude our thoughts in the second video that will be published this evening. Also for reference, just a reminder that we produced on Monday Bitcoin versus Gold and Silver episode 11, $50,000 Bitcoin this week, question mark. Well, the answer is yes, that has been achieved and surpassed. And again, we've provided a link to that one below. So do share your thoughts. Thank you for listening. And we shall now move over to the Forbes article. Forbes article dated February the 8th, 2021. Will crypto replace gold as the go-to inflation hedge in 2021? Entrepreneurs and business owners need to diversify their income streams and investment portfolios if they want to create a lasting enterprise that can withstand market and currency shocks. During economic downturns, the historical go-to diversifier has always been gold and precious metals. Time and again, research has shown that gold holds its value exceptionally well during recessions. This is particularly true of the 2007-9 financial crisis when the cumulative performance of gold was 19% while the US equities market fell 35%. If your business is hard hit during a recession or market crash, gold can bail you out. But lately, the meteoric rise of cryptocurrency has sparked interest in it as the inflation hedge of tomorrow and the eventual successor to gold. As the founder of an alternative investment company, clients now more than ever are asking me about the future of gold 
and whether Bitcoin may eventually replace it. That's why I've decided to finally share my thoughts on why I believe Bitcoin is here to stay, but won't be able to replace gold as the world's reserve asset, at least not any time soon. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have recently captured the attention of institutional investors looking for the next generation's disaster hedge. Institutions and retail investors are now flocking to the digital asset class in unprecedented numbers. Between quarter three and quarter four 2020, the average institutional investment in the world's largest crypto fund skyrocketed from 2.9 million to 6.8 eight million dollars. In December alone the price of Bitcoin rose 47 percent. Although JP Morgan Chase recently opined that Bitcoin's competition with gold has already started, there's little evidence to suggest that the success of one asset, Bitcoin, means the phasing out of another, gold. Demographic trends confirm that the tide is turning with many younger investors preferring digital assets over metals. For example, only 7.5% of millennials aged 25 to 34 own gold and silver, while among affluent millennials, 25% own cryptocurrency, and 31% are interested in acquiring it. While it's true that some retail investors are warming up to cryptocurrencies, institutional investors aren't turning their backs on gold. For example, in the second half of 2020, Warren Buffett's investment firm took a $565 million long position in Barrick Gold. In the previous quarter, Ray Dalio's Bridgewater and Associates bought a $400 million stake. It's not entirely true that gold and cryptocurrencies serve the same purpose. Though they're both stores of value that could provide a safety net against inflation risk, their use cases are dissimilar. On one hand, gold bullion can be utilized in the manufacturing of jewelry and electronics. On the other, Bitcoin can facilitate instant cross-border payments and remittances without restriction from central authorities. Therefore, when we zoom out and view the two assets from a microeconomic lens, it's clear that the two assets are functionally distinct. But given that neither is closely tied to the value of the US dollar, it's likely that both will continue to serve as important hedging tools as corporate treasury assets. On the retail side, it's clear that youth favours crypto over gold. Still, there are numerous advantages that, at this point, gold poses over cryptocurrencies as a store of value and medium of exchange. These benefits make it hard to believe that gold will ever lose its luster for individual retirement investors, including long-term price stability, secure storage in vaults, custodian oversight of gold or silver individual retirement accounts, real-world industrial utility, proven longevity over millennia. At the same time, Bitcoin and altcoins are now coming of age after a tumultuous 12-year maturation period. Bitcoin is more than millennia's gold. Rather, it's a resilient peer-to-peer -peer payment network and store of value that deserves recognition alongside, rather than in opposition to, gold and silver. In short, I'm bullish on both gold and Bitcoin in the year ahead, and to date there aren't any signals in the market that indicate that either asset is going away any time soon. Both yellow metal and Bitcoin serve similar speculative functions, but have vastly different individual properties and use cases which makes them complementary investments rather than competitors. Although more institutional money will likely flock to Bitcoin in the year ahead, this doesn't pose an existential threat to gold. Not any time soon, at least. It's more likely that we'll see gold and Bitcoin become tandem hedges with prices that become closely correlated. In other words, it seems that we're staring down a future with two major inflation hedges rather than one. If you're an entrepreneur, Perhaps the worst thing you can do is sit on nothing but cash savings. To protect your business in the event of large-scale inflation, consider diversifying with assets that aren't correlated with the US dollar, such as Bitcoin and gold, in 2021. End of article. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. 
please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Thank you.